So these are some native grasses. These are deer grass. It's a bunch grass. Not native right here to the coastal bluff, but to the foothills and up in the mountains a little higher. And we have some other native bunch grasses here too. And bunch grasses and other gra native grasses have a fibrous root system, but these bigger perennial grasses have deep and shallow roots. So they're, they're drawing water from the zone, the, the high level, the shallow zone of the soil and the deep levels too. And they're pulling up nutrients and water from that, that entire area. So they're actually a really good water wick. And they also keep the soil moist and add a, because they're fast growing and they, they, they grow and then they die back, they add a lot of organic matter to the soil. Classic example is our prairies of the North America. They are some of the highest fertility soils because they've had these perennial grasses and prairie grasses growing there that have roots up to 200 feet deep. And they're pulling up all those nutrients, even from almost like bedrock um, and higher, and, and drawing in all that moisture and growing really fast and then completely dying. So all their biomass turns back into organic matter and breaks down over the winter and that's all those nutrients are released back to the soil again. So it's really high fertility soil in that quick turnover system. So our, our perennial grasses like this deer grass don't grow quite as fast and as much, but they are similar in that sense. They're keeping the soil healthy and fertile and drawing in a lot of moisture and a lot of nutrient turnover. Typically, or not typically, but historically, and that uh, all of these grassy areas would burn and that would be a way that all the nutrients are returned to the soil really quickly so we don't have that as much here but we can do just mowing them down you know and composting it or leaving the clippings right there can can mimic that that cycle and really enrich your soil's fertility